Mike check! Jobs and education? Not war and incarceration. No war, no incarceration. I support Bernie because he understands that we need to address the structural roots of racism in our society. Bernie started as an activist fighting for integrated housing at a college. It's pretty amazing to have a presidential candidate that was actually out there putting his life on the line. <laughs> Bernie believes that we must pursue a policy to transform this country into a nation that affirms the value of the people of color. He says that this begins with addressing the five central themes waged against black, brown, and indigenous people. Physical, political, legal, economic, and environmental violence. The physical violence perpetrated by the state where unarmed people die at the hands or in the custody of police, like Eric Garner, Mike Brown, Freddie Gray, Anastasio, Hernandez, Rojos, and many, many others, needs to stop. The case of Sandra Bland, what happened in a part of America that was the last county to outlaw slavery, where Sandra Bland supposedly hung herself because she was so distressed over a traffic violation, needs to have federal investigation. And that's what Bernie Sanders is calling for. He's also calling for retraining the police to stop the militarization of the police force, which occupies our neighborhoods. These are things that activists have been calling for for 50 years. And it's time we have a president that is calling for these things now. He also wants to end the prison pipeline of systemic poverty that keeps people in poverty and in jail. And he opposes the for-profit prison system. as something that is immoral, which is one of the reasons why he was invited to the Vatican to speak. Next, he speaks out against the violence of extremists, like the KKK and George Zimmerman, who killed Trayvon Martin, who wanted to buy a bag of Skittles, but was found not guilty. It is disgusting. Recently, a surrogate for the candidate that Bernie Sanders is running against defended the super predator stereotype, which is the basis of this injustice. And that is inexcusable. But what we can see in Ohio, a roll-up shooting of a young boy, Tamir Rice, playing with a toy gun in a park, and he can't find justice, we know that it's got to come from a president who can understand this cannot happen. <laughs> and finally, there is the legal violence of the attack on citizens' right to vote. We saw in neighboring Massachusetts a former president using his motorcade to block access to a polling station in New Bedford for two hours. No! And we're not going to let that stuff happen again here, are we? No! Woo! Woo! No! Sanders has had to litigate this fight while fighting for you through this whole election. So if you can put in a little extra time in the next 10 days, 8 days, to just push it over the line. We have people signing people up for canvases. If you can just put a few hours in, there's people going around with clipboards. That would be great because we need to get everybody to vote to make up for the people who are going to be left out of this voting process.
to end this culture of violence by getting a president who understands that it's got to stop now. Let's see Bernie Sanders as the next president of the United States.